What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to another reaction. We got the Conjuring House Part 2. They're going to the woods this time. So, I'm not going to say much else other than an hour and 42, technically an hour and 43 minutes. I'm ready. Get your snacks. Without further ado, let's get right on into it. What's up guys, it's Sam McCoy. And welcome to Hell Week. We are taking hey. to spend seven days inside the Conjuring House, and today is day two. This How'd y'all sleep? The Conjuring franchise with a seance performed in 1974 by two world-famous demonologists, Ed and Lorraine Warren. This is all because the Perrin family who lived here was tormented by spirits for years. These hauntings mm. actually started centuries ago with the King Philip's War, aka the bloodiest battle per capita ever fought on U.S. soil. I'm gonna Meaning, have to yes, look that up. Soldier spirits who we've captured time and time again being at this house. Wow. And now the most active spirit is Abigail Arnold, who used to live here when this was called the old Arnold Estate. She's known to be a super nice oh. spirit and even serves as a protector and the matriarch of the house. And we were able to make contact with Abigail last night through Cody and Satori. Their method literally blew our mind. Yeah. We can't wait to show you again tonight. We're doing we'll it again. A guest tonight, so I let's can't go wait. Grab her from the airport and then we'll get started. We invited our friend Amanda out. Hey. hey. Whoa! Oh an official gosh, medium? Last time I swore I would never come back here. Hey, yeah, how do you feel? I have mixed emotions, you know. It was one of the craziest experiences. Oh, uh, okay, when you okay. The first time, and then when you came alone and I saw my name in the sand, I was like, there's no way I can ever set foot in that place again. Whoa! <laughs> but you're here! Here we are. <laughs> Could you explain to uh, everybody that may not know what you do? I'm a medium. Best way to describe it is I have one foot on our realm where I'm able to see the half living. in, half I have out. One foot on the other side where I'm able to see spirits that are inhabiting this house and other places. Day two, here we go. I'm scared. Oh, That's nuts. I hope y'all recovered after the first night. <laughs> it's like he crapped his pants. <laughs> okay, I'm so ready. first. Oh, I know that's gentleman. right. The waiver is right by the front door. <laughs> yeah, yes. Just as terrifying as last time. Yeah, right. Mm. Did you see the lady in white, like right here? Yeah, it was actually in this room we were sitting. Lady the first in thing I white. Saw was two children, and it was. Oh, yeah. I'll never forget them. I started off so confident. I'm like, ah, oh, this is like the house I grew up in. Like, yeah. I'm going to make it through. And in the night, <laughs> I was not making it through. Yeah, you was the a mess. The woman in white was in this room, and that one will always stick with me because she wasn't on mine. Right, and I wonder if it could have been Abigail, because we talked to an Abigail Arnold. One of the spirits wants to say something. Mm. Abigail Arnold. Hey, me, Abigail. <laughs> We have the like the most life changing paranormal thing ever happened. I us. know that's hours right. Ago, right here. I don't know. It feels like time stopped for a second. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> Episode one is crazy. I know whoa. that's right. What is this house? What is this house? I've never seen anything like that before. Wow, man. You still have six nights. No, oh, don't remind us. Six oh, There's nights, somebody in the kitchen. Man. Someone walked over into the kitchen. I can hear him walking in there. What? Does it smell different in here? I, that's what I thought. It smells very different walking in. Yeah. Once I got in, it's not as much, but like there's, what was that? I just heard like a, hi. It wasn't you sighing. Whoa, There's what was that? Not as much, but like there's, what was that? I just heard different walking Hold on. In. Yeah. Once I got in, it's not as much, but like there's, what was that? I just heard like a, hi. I think I it heard it. You sighing for a second? Mm -hmm. What? That's what I thought. I wonder if it's Abigail. Is there anybody in here that would like to talk to us? Can you give us a clear and obvious sign? If you're in a different room in this house, could you make a knock from the room that you're in? I almost feel like when we came in here, Nothing. it got quiet. Keep Oop. <laughs> Whoa! What was that? On the chair, almost. Did it sound? Dude, that thing moved yesterday. I don't even know if that was on camera. And we were all on the other side of the room walking away from it. Wow, okay, the stuff is already hot. Oh my god. I hate this. Oh my god, no, these things are insane. If there's anybody that wants to say hi, feel free. We're gonna be around here for the next week. Oh, I I'm heard sure. that. What the fuck? Like, it's just... <laughs> Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's because I was, I was, because was my fault. Oh, I was about to say. 
light flicker. Oh my god, it literally was like acknowledging you. Yeah, up here would be where the children would be playing, right? Yeah. I mean, we heard Henry last night's investigation running around, specifically over here. So who's Henry? There's also a child spirit here. Okay, that yeah. Multiple names: Oliver, Henry, and in the Conjuring movie, really? Rory. We're gonna try to contact this child spirit because we believe that the thermal picture that we captured last time was Rory. Rory was Whoa. known to play with April and Cindy on the top floor and is now the most active spirit up there. We do have a little boy upstairs. Oh boy! He likes to knock little cars off the table. That happens. In the movie. His name is Rory. Andrea Perrin in the book. He was Oliver. Oliver. But we've learned since then that actually his name is Henry Richardson. Oh, okay. And he was the great grandson of. Abigail and John Arnold. Do you think Henry uh -huh. could Look at straight out of a video game. The camera? That's what we were talking about. Because weren't you sitting right here? Like, walk us through that again, right? No. You're right here. I was sitting in this bean bag as I was like kind of peeking my head, trying to get a better look at him. He was peeking his head at me, and we were just making wow. direct eye contact before I snapped the picture. You know, you can see your outline. Yeah. You couldn't see his outline on the thermal camera, but I could see him with my eyes, and so I figured I might as well just shoot the picture. That's and he developed. Wild. In that window, right? Right in this room, yeah. And this is That's Andrew wild. Room. She was in here with her sisters and snuck all the okay. way over there downstairs to watch what happened. Oh, earlier, Andrea Perrin told us about her traumatizing My name is Andrea Perrin. I am the author right. of Right. Didn't you say in the, the first episode uh, I've also that you were going to talk to her? In the country as uh, a portal cleverly disguised as a farmhouse. There is much activity. A portal cleverly dressed as a farmhouse. Uh, a portal cleverly disguised as a... A portal cleverly disguised as a farmhouse. I'm actually kind of terrified right now. Farmhouse. Don't at me. I'm actually kind of scared Numerous right now. Spirits that come and go, or they stay quietly in the wings until they're ready to show themselves. Nah, fam. Nah, bro. I'm getting goosebumps already. Seance, my mother was attacked oh. at the invitation of a medium that Ed and Lorraine Warren brought to the house, insisting that my mother was being oppressed. My mother was attacked at the table during a seance oh that went so gosh. horribly wrong that she almost lost her life. And you witnessed this, correct? Cindy and I witnessed it. My sister Christine was directly above the room where it happened. She heard everything. And my baby sister April was hiding. It is is the most traumatizing oh event man because y'all were all kids life. and it's hard still to talk about it because just describing it really supplants me back into the hallway right behind oh you, my the front gosh hallway, dude where cindy and i stood and watched through a crack in the door no nah, man <laughs> oh my I'm getting a chill up my spine and everything, man. The sand? Yes. Amanda it was and Amanda. Scotty's name were both etched into the sand. And remember, the soldier was asking for a medium specifically in this room. One of the main hauntings here at the Conjuring House are the soldiers. Every night, Cindy Perrin would hear about seven dead soldiers buried in the wall. My sister Whoa. Cindy, I think the second or third night that we were in the in house, the came crawling wall. into bed with me and said, I keep hearing voices that they're saying the same thing. They're saying saying it all together. There are seven dead soldiers buried in the wall. There are seven dead soldiers buried in the wall. The King Phillips War in 1675 was the- Ooh, uh-uh, I need a second, y'all. Hold on, I'm, I'm putting myself in the moment and my imagination is too damn strong to be doing that because I swear I feel it. <laughs> I swear I feel it. Oh, there are seven dead soldiers buried in the wall. The King Philip's War in 1675 and it was, was the, the soldiers war per saying ever that. fought on American soil. This battle was fought due to indigenous tribes trying to stop colonial expansion. Battles were right. thought to have come as far out as this property, so it's very likely that any soldiers that were buried here were those from the war. And even in our past investigations, we have confirmed that there are soldiers here and they Jeez. most likely are trapped. Yeah. Do you believe those soldiers are still here? I do believe that. We don't know the full history of 
what actually happened here. We can only guess that there were skirmishes, but it was the bloodiest war on U.S. soil. Wow. Uh, and I know that Corey and Jen Heinzen had had ground penetrating radar done mm -hmm. and located what could be where the seven so I think you know where the flags are. Yes. yes. Yeah. Could be outlines of coffins or something where they might be buried. Oh, wow. You That's feel really sad, though, man. It sounds so weird. It's almost like there's pressure on my heart. And not just because it's muggy and kind of stuffy. It feels like there's actually somebody putting pressure on my chest. Sometimes I could be feeling how somebody here passed away or how somebody here felt. I, mean, I would be stressed, like, doing home birth <laughs> 300 years ago here. Like, what? We had so much activity last year with soldiers, and they kept calling specifically to you. So I'm excited to see if that is back. wild. Alright guys, Imagine we got that. For the investigation. And to start things off, we're gonna go grab Cody and Satori. Gotta save the best for first, I guess. I mean, I've the been looking forward to them. Absolutely blew our minds. And it's probably going to change the world. Not even kidding. This is by far the most clear communication with the afterlife we have ever captured. It's on never camera. been done Easy. before. They're willing to help us out even more during our investigation this week. Basically, what happens is when they touch, spirits from all over come into the room, and you can hear it through tapping noises. Then we're able to talk to them through the alphabet. It's hard to explain, but you'll see in a second. We asked Andrea Perrin her opinion on Cody and Satori. What's happening in that house right now is just as significant and just as amazing and mystical and magical as what happened to us 50 years ago. Last Halloween, Cody and years. Satori were there. We met and them. all the spirits started knocking, rapping, tapping, knocking, knocking. I mean, it was so, you couldn't just hear it. It was like, it was unbelievable. It's, it's so was crazy. Night, oh yeah. We did that last something. night. They are, I lived long enough to see direct conscious contact made between mortals and spirits. Is that the first time you've seen something like that as well? Because that's the first time we've been doing paranormal yeah, investigation no, for years. Yeah, no, and Satori are completely in a league of their own. I have never seen anything even remotely like what they are able to do. And when They're going to lead the way. Started, she's like, okay, you have a message for Andrea. What in is it? Showing. Four words. It was four taps, wow. so four words. And then they spelled out we miss your family. Oh my God. God. Oh man. Oh, that just opened. Is that from like oh. walking? Wait, wait, wait. I didn't get that. Almost thought that dog was real. That just opened. Do you think walking can like make this? Well, let's well, test we... it out. And just like open it. Yeah, and I wasn't even filming. I wonder. What? It's oh, pretty that's hard. Yeah. That's we, crazy. You know, like three tours a day with 14 people that, yeah. each walking through this room, and we've never had that happen. Never. 14 yeah. people, I've never dude. Seen it open. That's a what? Static. what yep. So it detects static anomalies in the air. So it's. Like that? Give you proximity of where it's coming from. Already? Can you walk around that and show my friends how it works? I'd appreciate it. Walk either to the left or to the right. Whoa! Wow. If you could get all the way to blue, I'd be very happy. If not, it's okay though. Knock it all the way around. Can you get to blue? <gasps> Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What? That looks a lot less intimidating to something that may look intimidating to a child. You pet him and he's happy. Winston? Oh, that was a perfect little song. Interesting. Built into it and um, looks a lot more cute, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Open that Sorry. door because we had a lot of communication last time we were here from the birthing room. And our goal the here birthing today, room. as you guys saw how amazing Cody and Story were <laughs> last night, oh. like we want to combine their ability to talk to ghosts with Amanda's ability to see the ghosts. Oh, we that is so dope. dope! What do we do again? We That's nothing. so dope! <laughs> <laughs> we are just talentless. Suck. Henry? We're just here. here. Can you make all the lights go off? I've never seen them go off so much in like five minutes before in my entire life. Really? It's, it's pretty rare for these to go I, off. Sometimes it doesn't go off at all. Cody and Satori method day two. All right, if anybody's here, I am by the birthing room. I would appreciate you to come in here. Which direction? I hear it. Where Andrea Perrin used to sleep? Coming up the stairs. Bro, I told y'all I hate the sound of fast feet. <laughs> That's the only issue I would have in this house is if I'm standing in the doorway and I hear, bro, I'm, 
I'm doing that out the door. That's what I'm doing. I'm Can doing that out the door. Yes, two for now. Do you understand me? One for yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Can you do that three more times just to confirm for me? One. Two. It's so loud. Three. Thank you so much. It's great to talk to you this evening. We're back. Are there multiple people here? Yeah. What? There's somebody over there. I hear them. I heard that. That thump was hard. Side cam? Whoa. A boy. Wait. Does it sound name? like it's... One is a boy and one is a girl. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Good. Wow. That's good. Is Henry up here? Yeah. Oh, Henry's, Henry's up here too. There. Is that right? No, where is he? Can we point? Over here. By Winston? Okay. That's good. Oh, Who Henry's petting to? the dog. Can I spell your name? Is there somebody in the birthing room? Is there somebody in the birthing room? Oh. Okay. Can I spell your name? No, you don't want to do that? Okay. Oh, you must not want to talk. There's like people running Sounds all like they're over running the place. Around, yeah. Can you do me a favor? Is it a bunch of kids? Spelling. A, B, A, A, B. Abigail. Oh, hey, Thank Abigail. Abigail's here. Glad you're here too. Kids running around. Yeah, that's a Wow, like I had a feeling. Okay, A. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N, man. There's a man, man. here too. Oh, fuck. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N, O, a B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V. Outside. Out. I thought it was O U Q R. That's what I was thinking. It's outside. Yeah, you're right. Outside. There's a man outside. A living man. Okay. No. No, a man outside. Not living. Do you know who that is? Oh my gosh. Could you no. go ask them their name for me and come back? Wait a second. Are you joking me? Get out of here. Get out of here with that right now. I was here outside the kitchen window. Oh, like the Get out of here with that right now. There's you're just not gonna leave the room like that. You just can't leave the room like that. Has written down soldier. Soldier right there. He's coming back. Hi, Abigail. Okay, did you get a name? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Who is it, Abigail? M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, T. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. There's two men. Okay. There's two? Is the name of either of them? A, B, B. Both? Great. You got both of their names? names. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F. A, B, Frank. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, A, B. Frank? I wrote R and it stopped on R and I was... Wow! Wait. <laughs> it's Frank okay. again! Four. A, B, B, A, B, A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, B, A, R. Brock. Is it Brock? No. B A R. Barry? A B C D E F G 
H I J K L M N O P Q R S T B A R T Moore. Moore? The, my last name is Bartlett. Do you, do you know a Frank? My dad's name is Frank Bartlett. Oh, oh my. my. And nobody, like, I, I don't oh use my last name. What? Okay. Hold and on. they're like dancing. Is there something you're trying to say? What the fuck? Is that your dad? <laughs> A B C D E F G A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R Grandfather? He's named after A B C D E F G third, third, third Great Grandfather? Great Grandfather Frank? So yes, yeah, so I my grandfather is Frank, my grandfather is Frank, my dad is Frank. Oh so okay. this is great grandfather. Wow! Oh my Bro, you're going way back with that. That's nuts! For the great grandpa to want to talk to you. I'm right. Stanley's their middle name. Frank Stanley Bartlett. That is their full names, all three of them. Wow! Can you see him? No. What? Is, all right, so are we talking to Frank? Something He's is going to happen with that room. Okay, so you're speaking for him. Okay, oh. thank you so much. Is he trying to say something? Okay, how many words? A, B, Four C, words. C, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, W. What is about to happen in this room? I'm scanning it. Watching. A B C D. Just like last time. Over. Watching over you. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, Watching I, over the family? N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, T, Y. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, Tyler. That's Tyler. Oh, oh it's, they're, they're doing it to you, too. Oh, name. So they're he they're talking to you, too. Sort of like guardian, like he's watching over. Yeah. Okay. Wow, Aww. I'm shitting my pants right now. I know that's right. <laughs> this is wow. Like, nobody knows my last name. Nobody, my dad doesn't go by Frank. He goes by Stan. Yes. <laughs> this is so, as somebody who sees dead to be this shock. Great grandpa said, yep, that's my boy. <laughs> is insane. And the whole like watching over, I thought it was going to go a different direction. Um, my dad's mom is in hospice right now. Aww. And she was given three months about five months ago. So she's not doing too well. And when it was watching over, obviously that's all on that side. That's kind of where I thought it might be going. Are you wow. trying to say something? You're being very loud. <laughs> trying to say something? It's like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It was awesome. Are you saying something? Hello? Oh. We walked away. Walked downstairs? Sound like it. Anybody is else? Is he going? Is she going to Frank? <laughs> Someone else is coming Someone's up. coming up the stairs. Is that Frank? Can we also Your great granddaddy is standing right next to you. The Amanda name. You can ask and see if they know. Is there a spirit here that's uh, been here for more than two years that would possibly know what happened in the birthing room? And somebody just walks up. A like, yeah, I do. E F G H I J K L M N A. A A B C D E F G H I J K L M name. That's Great. what I wrote down. Name. So some the person that wrote the name, like there was a name in the birthing room you know of. Okay, so they know what you're talking about. Whoa! Can you help us understand who wrote the name Amanda in the sand? 
Oh, was it Frank? Was it Great Grandpa? You're in a paragraph. A wow. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, A, He, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, A, B, Says. He says. Who a, says? C, D, e, F, or Frank. G, H, he. He says, he, says he. he. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, A, A, B, C, D, E, F, he G, says H, I, he J, K, saw? L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. Saw. That's saw. what I thought. He said he saw. A B C D E F G H A B C D E A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W He says he saw her? He said he saw her? He saw her. What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? What? He saw Amanda. Somewhere. But she wasn't at the house. You guys called me that night. But that was after. Yeah. Whoa! This is a portal. What if they just saw you somewhere else yeah. in another spot? That, that is point. interesting. Hey, like multiple people. Who is he? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. So it's obviously not Frank. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O. A B C D E F G H I J K L A B Soldier 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 oh, oh my the god The soldier that I saw That is literally You saw the soldier outside Uh huh The he soldier said he saw her The soldier was the one that was requesting that a man Whoa! Oh well, we just got that through a music box section Whoa But I saw the soldier the first time I was here And so, like, he, he saw you, you saw. We saw each other or he saw you Whoa. Yeah. Bro, so, I cannot no. get over I don't know that. Anything about I cannot get over how real this is, man. I just can't. It's so crazy how real this is. Bro, and we're only 25 minutes in, man. Just going to, if you know what that means. Yes. Just 25 <laughs> minutes is that in. The same soldier that you saw outside walking past. I think it is. If we can ask. Do you know? Yeah, is it? Okay. Wow. Wow. The soldier man. saw in the kitchen the first time you came here. Mm -hmm. Just Remember wandering you around. Call you back. Did That's you make eye wild. With him? Oh yeah. So he saw you, and he just confirmed wow. that he saw you. And he literally said that he wrote your name in the sand. I wow. Out loud in the house or something. I wonder if he's just outside because she keeps running somewhere. What is up with this so room? I don't know if he's just wandering out there. Can I ask a question? Yeah. I mean, is there something that I can do to help this soldier to help you? She's coming back. She's literally playing messenger. Did you hear that? Okay, do you have an answer for that, Abigail? I think it's still Abigail. Whoa. Okay. Do you have an answer for that? Do you know? Whoa. That sounded long. Look at the look at the particle in the air. That that didn't just happen randomly. He was to be free. Inside? No, we're too far. <sighs> what? A B C B. Don't. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y L M. Okay. A B C D E F G H I J K L M M M L 
He wants to leave. He wants to leave. He is trapped here. He wants to leave. He's he wants trapped. To leave. He's trapped. Just like we found out with yeah. our equipment. That has been everything that we've encountered the last two times we've been here. Yeah. The soldier he... wants to leave. But is it something well... that he, he can, he's just holding himself? Because I know you've described this sometimes. Is it almost like he's reliving? Okay. So mm. I'm wondering if he's like still thinking it's like different time period. You oh, he might mm. rise. He feels like he's trapped, but it actually isn't. Maybe he feels like it's still like current day whenever he was. Because and... you couldn't like leave. You yeah. Like, he... And the military and right. stuff. Yeah. You couldn't abandon so maybe your post. He's yeah. Just stubborn. I'm still serving. Oh, so. okay. That's it's understandable. So it really is. Leave. I don't think we've ever talked to someone who claimed that they were a soldier. What? Because that's literally what we've contacted <laughs> every time. We've that's been. wild. First time we were in the basement, there were soldiers saying we're trapped in the wall. And then the second time we were here, we're in this birthing room, and a soldier came through and said, I want to speak to Amanda. She can help. Bro, imagine hearing from... Bro, imagine being the person that a spirit beckons to for freedom. Like, can, can you imagine what it's like for five minutes being deceased and trapped unable to rest and leave and, and, and... nah man <laughs> nah How man exactly maybe you're just gonna give him closure yeah, yeah. maybe it's a comfort maybe yeah it's maybe it's a comforting thing. thing yeah we stared at each other for so long you know what i mean to have he somebody wants to be seen yeah to have somebody know that that you ex that he us. exists yeah. yeah so what i'm gathering they just want to be seen he just wants somebody to talk to him make him feel like understand it's a new time he's not still serving okay right. so, so maybe you're the first maybe person. I, I can do that like, yeah maybe. i think you're totally right is the soldier just lonely <laughs> oh, the well, one too. he really yet. is. Yes. And this is Abigail that's saying this, right? Yes. Oh, wow. Bro, time. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm going to have to go very, there. She's, she has I want to talk to some spirits. Talks. She's like, always been like a facilitator, too. Tonight, just be like, hey, you know, have a talk with them and be yeah. like, don't feel like you have to do anything. And if he's outside, maybe you should do it outside. There we go. But wow. Really not to do much outside. Like, What's that in the woods? Good intentions. Yeah, that's true. Good intentions. have good intentions. To free the soldiers. Yeah. Completely different entities than we're used to and i'm sure the spirits of the house are used to i think there's a lot of energies out in those woods that are just i don't know when you say <laughs> that different. might be We've pretty bad evidence that there are native american spirits out there people have claimed that there are elemental spirits out there like higher beings one night we had drumming come from the woods so oh it loud, hell it no it's way up to the house and then the power in the house went out so it's definitely <gasps> like you got me messed up bro <laughs> You got me messed up, cuz. I'm moving out. I'm moving away. I'm doing something. <laughs> no, sir, dude. The drumming alone would scare me half to death. Then the power just goes out and the drums just stop. No. Like, they're definitely out that there. That is scary. Can she leave the house? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Is she down to come and help us or protect us or look over us? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Abigail. Hey, thank you, thank thank you, you. Abigail. Well, that's literally <laughs> the first time we've talked to somebody through Abigail. Wow. Was talking about a soldier outside, which wow. is interesting. So we must have a connection with you and you saw it. That is insane. I think you like them. I haven't had you talk so much to somebody before. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's is that, is that true? Because I, Sam and I'm Kobe's letting the world know they us, exist. But, you know, when it comes to other people, she kind of does her own thing. So it's interesting that she wants to talk to you guys so much. We can stop if uh, she's tired or whatever, but if, is there any reason why? Is there any specific reason why she might like to talk to us? Is it because we can get a message out? Yeah. So you know how I was telling you about the, the picture boxes, the magic picture boxes, the moving pictures? <laughs> Okay, so they can get anything you need to say out to a bunch of people that have those boxes. Right here, what I'm holding right here. Yeah, you like that? Okay. Wow. Good. Wow. They just, they just wanna want to communicate. They said that too. They, they want, want their to get message. Their story uh -huh. out. And so they like us because we're the ones that can do that. 100%. Wow. So I think I Look at y'all. Little happy dance. <laughs> oh my 
Look at y'all! That is so cute! Oh my god. Y'all, the connection that these two have. Let go, it stops, and then you. Yeah, it it only happens when we touch unless we've had people go in the middle, and if we're on either side, it still works. So it like passes through you like an energy current, but it'll still work. Have you ever asked her why? It's you guys. She just tells us what she sees. She doesn't know. She's told us that when we touch, we become very loud and oh. that she sees a big light go up in the air. That's what she says she sees. Whoa! Described it as is it's like a lighthouse. Like a beacon. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Whoa! And like, like a mod. Tell when you have those yeah. abilities. Whoa! Else would make That's sense. crazy, I mean, dude! I don't know if she knows what that is, but it would make sense for what she described. She just says she sees a big light in the air. If That's she's not crazy. Tired, Abigail, it's totally fine if you don't want to do this. This, but I'm curious if she can touch Winston or make one of these light up. Can you try? Try walking around the room over here. You want to see these things on the ground? There's one here. See it? Just one off. Now see if you can go near one of them. Or a pen. <gasps> Yo! Oh my Yo! God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! 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 We need a light show, Abigail. Oh my God! Start jigging, yeah, Abigail. Abigail, you're gonna you're gonna teach millions you're gonna of change the world. About you and the afterlife. Y'all are changing the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If there's one these thing you- two, these folks are changing the world. Because who is going to watch this and say that's not real? can say about where you are without i know sometimes you say you can't say things can you say anything that would tell people what it's like or about okay a b four words e f g a b c d e f g h i j k l m n the anticipation a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. Good? Oh, it's, it's good. Point. You said good. I did. I wrote oh that down my God. right after the question so got asked. Because that's, that's what I heard her say. Wow. That's wow. wild. Thanks for I'm going to take a little break, okay? Bro. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Oh, thank you. Oh, my gosh. A question for you guys. Does is that I'm, mentally I'm exhausting? I'm mind like men- mentally, yeah. It's like energy. It's like yeah. Yes. I kind of feel it like shin splints in my ankles. She kind of feels it in her head. Mm-hmm. Oh, so man. It's almost like a a current of some sort that we don't. Wow. Know well, thank you so so much. It's for like doing it that. circles that you. Y'all are perfect <laughs> for each other. <laughs> Y'all are in perfect so balance. Fun. Stop it. Uh, look at this. Like yeah, you're they are. friends too, though. Yeah. It's pointing yeah. right at you. Whoa! Yeah, that's you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I cannot believe before. that. You've never tried equipment with your guys's. I don't even know what to call it. Power ability. That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? <laughs> what do you call this? <laughs> I like that. We've had some things like recorders, uh, K2s, but nothing like this while we're doing it. So it's cool to see other equipment react. Didn't go off. Wow. Do <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad that we can excite you by holding hands and making knocking noise. <laughs> wow, dude! Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. You take a break for a second. Wow. Oh, you guys want to go debrief outside? Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you guys. That is crazy. And they have a medium there too. So it's just an extra so layer. Supportive of equipment. It's hard to prove unless devices go off as I'm doing like the picture of the little boy I took, but to have me being able to write down and say before what these things say, that's- And they confirm it. Yeah, and they Why? don't know what I'm writing, only you do. But okay, this is what's really interesting to me. You couldn't see some of the spirits that were right in the room. Mm-hmm. That just shows that like some spirits might need more energy. Whoa. This is the room that they were in. 
or possibly a different or the the camera this earlier manifest. this was some the room must manifest in sounds visuals they manifest in different ways or some you might not see at all and then you can capture them on a picture mm -hmm. i don't know what the difference is somebody just poked their head around the corner very low a kid what i don't know but it did not make me feel good the fact that they also said and confirmed that it was a soldier who we were talking to in the birthing room two years ago and they specifically asked for you because you're like she can see me. They two you. years. Like, I want to talk to this girl that can see and me. And this two spirit ago, waited. From two years. But how many true mediums do you think come here that can really genuinely see him like a person? That's probably a rarity for him. Like, That's imagine a how good long point. he's been and living your life like that. They didn't know you were coming. So, like, it couldn't have been, like, research or something like that. That's no. just insane. Nobody knows my last name. And then you hear him go down the stairs when they leave. Yeah, bro. That's I will part. never be. literally getting farther away. I will never. Never be a skeptic after hearing something like that. Hearing the the steps going down as Abigail left and then came back with an answer. Like, <laughs> and then you can hear it getting louder, like as if a real person was there. Yeah, not there. man. Is there any way that is debunkable? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There's no way that I would be able to know when the knocks are going to happen on what letters, mm -hmm. and I was. Sam was watching me yeah, do it. Yeah, every single time she gets it correctly. If there's people wow. watching this right now being like, oh, the Conjuring Even house, it's mediums a are house, real like a now. system put inside it. Guys, this is a 300-year-old house. That would completely ruin, like, every, and it's, it's made of wood like you can literally i can see like downstairs from the tracks right here original from 1736 yeah. you think they're gonna really like do a sound system through the stairs in every room like but it makes it's no not sense. even a sound system you could feel it on your feet That's you it. feel the vibrations it's... of footsteps down yeah, and up man. the stairs and she walked i keep checking that door alive. so how do you explain that you can't you can't <laughs> we just, i keep thinking paranormal. somebody's gonna Dude, peek around the corner this, this is what this is what we're doing for a that's so scary because you just saw a scary thing peek around. Like, Abigail, I know it's harder for us to communicate, but please watch over us. She's I know that. I know you're the protector of the house and you're the matriarch, and we want to consider you that as well. And you have our utmost respect. We're here for the next five days now. Thank you for letting us in your home. Oh, she was in that room, and as you said that, she walked behind you, Sam, and it's right in between you I, and the wall, Sam. I literally looked up because I thought I felt something go past. Oh, That's wild! It might be <laughs> annoying, maybe, that, like, we're really Acting like this, no, it's just man. That we using this magic box of <laughs> that the is amazing. To show as many people as possible that you're real. She doesn't feel annoyed at all. She feels appreciated. Okay. You know wow. I mean? She's just able to help. Abigail likes us. We got on the good side of a spirit. That's great. <laughs> hey. Earlier, we asked the owner if she'd had contact. We had contact soldiers. with soldiers here inside the house. Down in the basement, I have. That don't that's surprise me at all. Too. That's yeah. crazy. Wow. That's where people seem to have contact with them. Or outside, they've been seen. <laughs> 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 thermal cameras. They've been seen walking, pacing up along the stone wall. Whoa! It was time to go outside to try to contact the soldiers. But for some reason, Amanda really wanted to look into the basement. And as soon as she opened the door, this is what she saw. Something immediately ran to the left. What? The second, if they weren't even on the floor. It was up where that window is. Kind of short. Just looked like it shot, like darted away. Whoa! So it was kind of tiny to the ground. Yeah, like the ground. tiny to the ground, but it wasn't on the ground. It was on that metal, or er, on that stone. Brick. Something just jumped off. But that's like it, there was something waiting for us. I've never seen anything like that. Nah, like, y'all are being watched. Oh my gosh. Was. I just don't like I'm that. Getting, okay, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting that. Yeah, the yeah, chills again, the man. Maybe we'll just not deal with that Ooh. for a second. Ooh. We don't even need to go to the basement this entire week, right, guys? Uh, yeah. Right? They don't, yeah. don't want to see us. Go right? Yeah, that's not nah. a challenge for you at all. I told you. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I told you it is. The last two times we were here, we contacted a very negative entity that called Beazelbub. itself Beelzebub. Oh, Beelzebub. hell no! Nah. known as one of the seven princes of hell, also known as Lord of Flies. Uh -uh. He's also Lord of Possession and Gluttony. The Conjuring House was infested by a swarm of flies at the beginning of its hauntings. Maybe this was Beelzebub. Our first time we came here, in the basement specifically, it seemed like we were dealing with something a little bit more threatening, and specifically something called Beelzebub or yeah. Beelzebub. Nope. Have you ever heard of that entity being here? 
Yes, so we have three very different energy happening here in the house. Oh. In the top floor, you're going to get the children energy, like Henry Richardson is up there. Here in the middle level, you're going to get more of like the adult conversations and with John, the, the Abigail, Arnold, and the is other where the demons are. Family. And in the basement is the trickster energy. They like to trickster. play tricks like that. They want to startle you. When you ask who they are, they're going to say, they're gonna, a yeah. or they're going to say, Lucifer. Satan. And they're doing yeah. it just to scare you. Yeah. What do you think their intentions are then? Just to like mess with you. Do you think they could like feed off that power in any, any way, or are they just having fun? Negative energy is fun. very feeble. Our goal this is to find out, is this entity a trickster spirit or an actual demon prince? Well, you better hope he's a trickster. Estes right, method. Okay, that's what this is. We have two night vision cameras that we're setting up. One right in front of the basement, and then one upstairs. We have the rim pot here, and I think, because we're going to do the investigation outside, we open the door. <laughs> oh, oh no! So when we come back, something might be around. See what happens. I don't know about what that one, bro. That, right? What was that? It sounded like something was almost. Something was tapping on the glass, kind of. Oh well, look, hey, you're opening the door. You should just go downstairs anyway. I don't know if that's how it works. Uh, don't <laughs> do that. <laughs> oh, God. Don't do that. We have bad. You're joking me. All right, here we go. Rim pod is 50% working you're joking whoa go? um, it is oh. yo that car oh. just opened wait a minute off. wait 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 um, it is yeah, no yo, way the car just opened and that just went off it's going off right now yeah yeah, yeah. I, hey bro on camera and everything bro the second floor camera stopped. Oh, yeah, exactly. The you got you me messed up if you guys did doing like shit like, like this. Up, open that cabinet. I walked past it quickly. Was it footsteps? It could have been footsteps no, for it sure. It wasn't a drag, but only because we shut it. And when we shut it, this side clicks shut. Oh, you're right. The oh, yeah. And this side did it, which is why Colby and I set this here to hold this side shut. So that does, yeah. Dude, 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 dude. We've been close that damn door. Everything is coming from, and I think we're right. In case that was us just walking around, we'll see you right now if it ever goes off. No Feel free way. if there's anything in the basement to come out into the rest of the house while we're gone. Nope. We're gonna go talk to a soldier. I cannot believe that covered flu. Boom, that was not that us was for sure. Uh -uh. That's so far away. It's like things are coming out one at a time. So there's something that's coming upstairs right now. Can you hit that red light one more time? The device isn't gonna hurt you, but I'm sure you know that. Abigail, is that you? It's not Abigail. Oh, not. snap. Let's get out of here. Abigail, help! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> Can't do it. Oh, wait. I uh, need, um... Oh! You need what? You need to keep going. Like grabbing it. Yeah, that's you need to keep going. As soon as I cross this plane, leaving. Dude. Bye bye, spirits of the basement. I see if it doesn't when we all step out. Goodbye. <gasps> oh no, my god, as soon as we walk outside. If no. you're ready for us to leave, can you make it stop? Oh, not go, go. I almost fucking died. We're wow, bro. It's warmer. Hey. Hey, okay. Oh my god, look at that shit. Keep curly around, demon. What up, man? Hey. What is that? Is that a bunny? We got a new collection. Oh, show him the psychic. Show him the psychic. Okay. What what are you from? Oh <laughs> whatever was on my body. <laughs> on Dude, it's funny to think of like Abigail following us and being like, what the She's hell? Like, What's wrong with this generation? <laughs> I know, right? These soldiers are like, I actually don't want to talk like, to them anymore. Man. Nah, fam. We are in the backyard of the conjuring house that's right behind Colby. Blind the graves folding. are right here, the soldier graves. So we're gonna try to contact a soldier and figure out why. Oh talk to no, him. sir. This looks like a god dang ritual with all these little kids. I know here. that's I right. Know somebody's here with us. Is that true? Is someone here with us? You can tell us something about you, your name. Lady? Mm. She's the lady, Abigail. Abigail, is this you? Were you talking to us inside? Tapestry? Tapestry? Tapestry, maybe? tapestry? Colby does have a tapestry over his eyes. It's called a blindfold. This device he's holding, you should be able to communicate through. Holding. Yeah, oh that, my that's, god. That's the device. It's called a radio. What else can you tell us about the hauntings of here, the conjuring house? Can't see. You can't see? Is it too dark? Abigail. 
Abigail. Exactly who I said it was. Wow. When you, when you arrive. When the boys arrive, Sam and Colby, or? Yes. Oh. Faster. Faster, you want more questions? We are here. Can you tell us how many of you are here? Abigail, are there things out here that could be dangerous? Seven. That's the number. Seven. Oh my god. Seven soldiers. Seven spirits, that was how many are here. No, I think something's been You know what I want. Do we know what she wants? Out. Out, that is oh, what? That's what the soldier. So are we talking to the soldier now? Temperature, compass. Abigail. For a while. Abigail, we plan to stay here a full week. Do you think that is okay? Do you think that's dangerous? Things that are under? Under the ground. Under? Under the ground. Prison. That's exactly Prison? What you got when you were in the basement. The soldiers are underground. They're prisoners. Is that true? They're trapped? Sharp pain. Are you guys in pain? No. Touch. You're not welcome to touch any of us here. You can touch. Sexual. Whoa. Sexual Whoa. Touch. Land. How long have you been here? How many years? Maybe before the conjuring house? The radio. That's what you're talking through. Can you tell us how long you've been here? Look. Look. Is the one. Is it the one that we need to watch out for? Five. Five that we need to watch out for? And there's seven what? here. It's Abigail the soldier and five we need to watch out for. Is that true? Are there five things that we need to look out for tonight that make the woods dangerous? Down. Down under where? Underground or in the basement? Uh-uh. 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 Major invite. Major? Invite? We'd like to invite the spirits of the conjuring house out here. Leave. Oh, shit. They wanted us to leave the house, too. We want to invite the spirits of the soldiers here, specifically the one who... He was wrong. Who was wrong? Bad? He was wrong. He was bad. The Major. Whoa. Can you give us a name? I don't know. Who Gallows? Is, is Abigail still here? I'm here like a whisper. Oh, perfect. Okay. okay Abigail. Uh, Abigail is still there. By the six other people here. Everyone. Does the soldier out here recognize us? I can feel Warren. Ooh. Were you here? Light. Warren. Were you here when the Warrens were here? I wonder if this is the bad thing that the Warrens medium invited in. My God. Like somebody was saying, like, oh my God. Did the Warrens invite you into the conjuring house? Unrecognized. I'm not. Like, you need the keys to. Something else just joined what? us. What? Like, yeah. Oh my god. I'm out. Whoa. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Left. I get it. I understand why. Like, this is what she warned us about. Can you answer us? Are we in danger? There's something in the fucking woods, dude. No, dude. I think they're going to start going quiet. They want to say. Who's they? What do they want to say? The good ones. The good ones want to say something. We're fine. I don't know if I believe them. What does that mean about anybody else? Who's behind you? Oh, say fuck. what? Three of them. Three of them. where all the noises are coming from is behind you, Sam. So there's three people that are behind me that are probably not good spirits? Or there's three of us. Three of them, yes. Candles every... Candles everywhere! They can see well. us. They're talking about the three of us being here and the candles everywhere. And they might be fucking behind us, too. They don't like y'all. Say goodbye. Okay, they want us to. S nope. <laughs> S scraping me. No. <laughs> Stop talking. Maybe that's another warning. What will happen if we don't say goodbye? You're not gonna scare me. We're here for answers. You wanted us to come out here. How can we help you? Underneath. Something's below. Freeze. Or free. 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 It's gotta be free. They're underneath and wanna be free. Is Do you it... remember me from two years ago? Seeing you. Wow. So that's why you want to talk to her? Because she can see you and you can see her? Comfort. Comfort. I'm sure it's so difficult. I want that. I'm sure it's so right now, of course. to not be seen. Maybe he's scared of what's at the house. Me. But you give him comfort, he'll see. You don't need to be scared. Free? Abigail wasn't very Free? specific. He on did what the say rope earlier. About. Can you maybe give them a little insight? What's in the dark? Why are the woods so much darker? Everyone has been warning us that they're different. The danger. Why? Jesus. Why is it so dangerous? Is there something out there? Because. They're all so vague. It's dangerous because. It happened. What happened in the woods? Death. Death from the war? Death? Stakes. Servants. You think it's dangerous for us to go out there? Are you kidding me? That Thank thing is just freaking out right now? every day. Oh my god. We've learned so much this trip. We appreciate you. Thank you for teaching us. You discovered. We discovered how much it could. One of the best something. 
One of the best methods. One of the best things we've ever discovered. Like we, what we just did. One of the did. best Literally ways what to we communicate. Just did. did you like communicating through the three of us? Was that easier for you? Go. You think we should go back in the house or go to the woods? What do you want us to do? Go. Oh. What? Some like growl just came in. Uh -uh. Radio again. Woods? Woods. So it's something from the woods. We asked, do you want us to go to the house or do you want us to go to the woods? Oh, yes, 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 yes. We're going to go to the woods. Back there. Yeah, back there, dude. Oh. Tell us what's out there for us. Look out. That's all they Look say. Look out. Be it's careful. horrible. It's, it's horrible. horrible. Look out for. Will you help us find out? Will you help protect us and figure this whole thing out? It's greater. It's no greater. joke, it's dude. More powerful it's than a freaking it's demon, That's bro. That's what we're thinking about. Like something, this elemental spirit or yes. non-human thing it's is more powerful than whatever's demon, in the bro. house. Bad. Last chance. Bad. If there's anything you'd like to say before we leave, I'm going to get out of here. One. Abigail, if you're here, please follow us and protect us. Removal? Okay, we're going to head inside. Alice, lift. Wow. Oh my god, that thing's just going off. What? Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. This is recording, but like so we just walked in with this thing. Is just there going off. something that means just coming up from the basement? If this is something that was outside with us, can you make the REM pod stop? Three, two, one. Something's just Something literally is grabbing. Is that something that you? something no, must Abigail. be just no. standing wait, let's go there. check the one upstairs too. Okay. Oh fuck. What the fuck? What was that? That one just was on. That was the just the static one was just on too. Is there somebody up here or just downstairs? Henry, are no you trying to play with some of our way. toys? That's crazy that it's going up. There was just a knock from the birthing room. No down by the way. Can you come up here with us? Oh, that's the music I was about to say. I thought somebody was we, really coming we, up. Did we, we shut, shut the door? The door. I'm pretty sure we did. I'll have to check back the footage, but I think we did. Maybe we just didn't, yeah, turn it yeah, like maybe that. Maybe it's just, I don't know. Oh. The lock. Wait. Why is the lock switched? Were you the last one in? Yeah. That makes no sense that the bar was out. The lock is flipped out like somebody's turned it. Yes. <gasps> Oh my god! Oh. Something's happening right there, dude. What the fuck? That's two separate devices. Three! Confirming. You're One, joking three. me! There's so somebody right two. there! If it's a spirit from the basement, can you start to walk around that device in a circle? What? Does that sound weird? Yeah, it's like, it's almost like breaking. Like yeah. fast. Look, boom. It's here. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now, can you move in a circle and step towards Colby? Oh, I wanted to see no way. Oh. Keep going. Keep no going. way. Maybe you can make it all the way to me. Yeah. Oh, and it stopped at her. Bro, don't go in these woods, man. Parents right, guys, purgatory? So see, we are now in the middle of the woods, actually. We're in the woods? No, no sir! The woods. And they call it Heron's Purgatory. The house is all the way over there, by the way. Like a mile. Man, well, probably like a half a mile that way. Will you can see the lights to it. Like, we're deep in here. We decided since um we chickened out last night <clears throat> that we're going to punish ourselves by sleeping in the woods tonight because that's what Abigail told us not to do. You're joking me. <laughs> So, right there is where we're sleeping. We'll take a look at our- Are you kidding later. me? I have no idea how many times that it warned Sam and I that what we're gonna encounter in this woods, possibly five different things, are all bad, more powerful. So we're taking it a step further. No, sir. Yeah. Two cameras tonight. We got one night vision. We're gonna put on the trail, and we're gonna do a investigation with the Alice box right here by our campsite. No, if sir. Is right here that wants to talk to us. We have a device that allows you to talk to us over here by the campsite. Please follow us over here. Thank you. So you've never seen one of these before, right? No, you'll have to give me the rundown. Oh my God, dude, that's oh, crazy. Oh, somebody's it's following you. every time. It's not the same color motion either. This will go off just every once in a while and spit out a word just like an ovulus. Shall we begin? I think we shall begin. All right. Let's do oh. it. Oh. It's literally like it's like, oh, I'm ready to begin. Solid. 
Solid. Solid. Oh my god. The rim pod either goes off a little bit or it stays on. But this weird like on and off situation makes me feel like there's a lot of people entering the space. I was wondering the same thing. Oh How many this people is that? From the basement here? What was that? Divided. Divided. Oh my there. Dude, no, no, no. Remember what they said about the spirits here? There's multiple that are good and there are also a few that are not. very I mean, bad. We always talk about that there is like a spiritual war going on. Yeah, between good and evil, and it's just a matter of which side you're on and who you're willing to communicate. We yep. are literally on the divided edge. Inside the woods and the forest are supposed to be more negative, and towards the house might be more positive. And I then just, what I the don't fuck? Know what's... They might have broken our rim pod. I'm gonna go reset it. No we heard that the way. woods are a little bit more on the negative side and or then there's get something out. greater out here than the human spirits of the Conjuring House. Is nope. that true? Let Not us know your intention. Maybe knock on one of these trees, knock over a branch. Knock over a or branch? you messing with the rim pod, <laughs> feel free to do it again so we know it wasn't just random. It you might want to look... What's this saying? Attack. Attack. Attack! Attack! Oh my god, we literally said, what is the difference? No, what the intention? And then boom! What, what, what should we do? I don't know. Their so intention is to attack that. you? We just came in right as it said that. What are you? What do you call yourself? What do others call you? We know your intention, but tell us something about you. This is what they've been warning us about. Is it like we're invading their space? Which would be uh, the indigenous yeah. people? Yeah! I guess an earthbound spirit. Earthbound spirits are more about protecting than attacking. In a Dave. 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 You said who is this, right? I don't know, but either way, Dave left. left. So who is here? Are we talking to something inhuman? Is this a spirit or an entity that never walked the earth? Give us an obvious sign. No, man. That is so weird. It's what? just so consistent. Like the amount of I hate that, that tree. That takes. Single. There's a single entity out here. There's also a river or a little creek that goes right here that could be providing a power. If you're a oh, single yeah. entity, okay. do you control all of the woods? If you do, give us an obvious sign. I was waiting for that, that thing to go off. I thought I heard like a crunching of leaves over there. Either a branch fell or a footstep. I'm gonna go reset this rim pod one more time. I can do it. Holy shit, it's dark. It's What's happening? Fit. Fit? What? Stock. Stock? The only two things that said it's like intended to do are attack and stock. It's like it's hunting us. It followed us from the basement door because it did the same thing to our. our that's room. crazy. Oh my God, that's such a good. Stalked us. Yes. How we, it like, is following you. Are you from the basement? Is that true? Yeah, I never said it was from these woods. You're from underground. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're right. There's so many. Underground. What's bad it say? feeling. No way. Bad, bad feeling? feeling? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta go. Like, what the gauze. fuck? Gauze. Like, as in, like, an injury, a yeah. gauze. That would be what the soldiers would, like, if they were hurt in the war. If they got attacked. What the fuck are we doing? What if the name like, Dave was a soldier? Maybe. Yeah. Could it have been the soldier you were talking to? I was thinking that, person? too. It absolutely could have been. Alphabet. Alphabet. He wants to talk to us. What? Through that method. <laughs> I think we use this alphabet method that Cody and Satori what? do in the basement. If this Bro. is the basement. Spirit, it might want to tell us something. Right now it's saying attack, but it might just be, like Jacqueline said, trying to scare us. Now the rim pod's good. Perfectly fine. So does it know that we're trying to sleep here tonight? Oh. Candle. Maybe it was next to us with all those candles. Yeah. Maybe this is part of the soldiers that was out there. Or it was watching us. It was watching us during that. We're planning on sleeping out here in the woods tonight. We've been warned that is not a good idea. We should be very cautious and have good intention. Do you think it is dangerous for us My to My eyes are watering and everything, y'all. Give us a sign or a warning. Surprise. That's a surprise it's for you to find out. That's uh -oh. even more terrifying. That's like, I ain't been to F around and find out sir. nothing. It doesn't give us a yes or no answer. I'm, just I'm, I'm, I'm out. out. <laughs> Malicious. It's a surprise. Or a trickster. Trickster. Mm, you're right. We Same thing at this open. point. That's where the trickster would be. We left it open while we were outside doing the candles and everything. And wouldn't a trickster try to do things that we've never seen on the rim pod? Yes. Yeah, like fuck with us. I don't think we've gotten a single positive thing out in the woods yet. The entire time we've been here for the last 48 hours, everything has been positive besides the woods. Do we need to leave? Is it safe here? Oh my God. Instant. Able. If you're able. Leave if you're able. To leave. 
I think while we are able to leave, we should leave. Yeah. And, group and figure out how to make this more safe. Full transparency. Yeah. We are not making Amanda sleep out in the woods as well. <laughs> I think I would never come back with you guys. Yeah. We've put her through enough. Maybe let's get you back to safety and then we'll regroup on how to make this more 152 safe. 1.52 in the morning. Be safe tonight, you guys. Thank you oh. so much. Don't Try eat best. my bears. Oh, are you headed out? Oh. Or demons. Oh. The soldier will miss you. Oh gosh, please stay here, little soldier. Dave. <laughs> and now that just means we got to Alone go. again. That's far, too. That's like a half a mile. Yeah. Okay. So, so let's get ready for bed and go. No go. This is like joke, the first time we're dude. Y'all are scary. really yes, going out, out there. there. We have walkie-talkies, but that's it. What I'm freaked out about is animals and the fact that there's intruders on this property every other hour. Constantly. We're literally staying on a campground called Perrin's Purgatory. Dude, this is going to be sick. Happy, happy, happy. Right, guys? Oh I mean, it's God, a nice this tent. This is amazing. But Let's go. That's oh scary god. as hell, oh, bro. Dude, this is sick. Oh god, dude. Good. Yeah, close that up. Okay, this is a fucking vibe. They have a stripper pole in the middle. They have a stripper pole? <laughs> that fucking alligator. <laughs> what if we finally ride out and show the audience the challenge for the week? Mmm. Right, I remember that. Well, they're sleeping right, guys, out so in the woods, the so what's it? Whatever I want, as you guys might have guessed, I'm gonna make Sam sleep alone. Right, sleep. I knew you were gonna do that. My challenge for Colby is going to be for him to go investigate the secret graveyard by himself. This is literally like two miles away. And there's no way he's not gonna get lost. Probably the most terrifying thing you could do at the Conjuring House. No so way. Means, then, we'll see you on day three. Okay, so I'm assuming y'all slept the night away okay. That's good. <laughs> we survived night two. Later, new guests are arriving. Okay. We decided to scare them as they right, walked so in. Don't let me join them for anything. No! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey. You might have missed the scare, but he fought. I was like, ah! <laughs> he was ready to throw hands. You scared the Tory, man. Actually, you know what would see it? That's gonna see it. Oh, oh no. Got him. I'm like, oh, they must be like deep in there or something. Oh, yeah. deep in there. <laughs> Day three. All right, what's going on now? Already here, so around here. halfway there. The basement. I live there. Oh god. Oh, yeah. I've been that? trying to last more than thirty seconds. Have you been doing it? No. It's hard for a lot of us. Yeah, I'm a premature kind of dude. Um, thirty seconds is ain't too bad actually. Speaking <laughs> of, we are living here for a full week. Really? Yeah. A full week. Full week. Well, full, full every week. night. We chickened out the first. We chickened out the first night. So six days, so we okay? Six days. Okay. Six we days. left on night one. Anybody sleeping for a week here? A yes. week? No. Hell no. No, no, not a week. Y'all are no, freaking what? crazy. That's a long time. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you guys are doing this. Yeah. Why are you yeah, making me them do this? You know, <laughs> yeah, it's their fault. It's yeah. their fault. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for subscribing. That's Sheba Sherman. I remember that. In the town that she was a witch. According to the Conjuring movie, she, she was, was a scary. Satan worshiping child murderer. And she none was of that scary. is true. She was actually a neighbor of the Arnolds who lived a very normal 19th century Rhode Island life. The story of Bathsheba Sherman. Yeah. I would love to jump into that because she wasn't as bad of a person as people make her out to be, correct? Correct. She did lose a couple children, mm -hmm. but she was never accused of witchcraft. Mm. And unfortunately, you know, because of the movie, many people have destroyed her headstone a couple of times. So oh, that leaves us with the question, wow. if Bathsheba That's... Sherman was not the negative entity Bro, who's we ain't this gotta go that far. Like, come on, it's a movie. I was... Then it who was is? a movie. And you defiled the yeah, real yeah, gravestone? Whoa. We have a little uh, interesting ritual to do, so let's get it. So can you explain the Sherman graves to me real quick? No. Okay. Huh? We just heading out. Yes, you shit that light. 
Is this car meant for off-roading? No. We're gonna find out. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh it's snap. Right it's right here. Whoa, literally, this is it? This? Yeah. How do you know? I don't. Just know? Oh, we're guessing? We're you're guessing. Well, let's find out. I'm getting a psychic reading, dude. Oh, you feeling it? You feeling mm. it, Mr. Krabs? No, let's do a psychic reading. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Just out right now. Shopsfloor.com. We're gonna do merch right here. There's a bunny that looks like it would murder you. Oh, Benicula. Boom. The sign's right there. I thought you seen the sign. Oh, no. I just completely guessed. Historical cemetery town of Burrowville. That is where, apparently, Laura Sherman's grave is. This is the base. Wow. That's supposed to be a headstone, right? Oh, it's right. Yeah, they said they vandalized it, so they, they never fixed it. Dude, wait, oh, that means wow. like, the whole Sherman family is buried right here. And y'all might be standing on a full moon. You're supposed to dance around this 13 times, and then Laura Sherman appears. You got she me appears. messed up. I've already done the video, because that's scary as hell. You so got me messed up. There was a bunch of teenage girls that did this 13 times on a full moon, and then one of the girls as she was driving home would see this old woman in her rear view mirror sitting in the back seat so many times that she moved. She like left this town forever. Wow. <laughs> yeah, dude. Come on, that's terrifying. Seeing it in your rear view mirror. Yeah, felt oh. you. I almost felt Fell. That was just Laura Sherman, dude. No worries. You might have got pushed, bro. Maybe. This is like the Sherman spot. Dude, that means Bathsheba Sherman herself. Nah. On this property. She's probably yeah, we think that if we the bad entity. Get her to come Maybe. Out tonight, then she could help answer some questions about the country. She would know the entire Arnold family. And it would be history. nice and to see it. Clear her family name. Facts. That's facts. 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 So let's start dancing. Laura, all we want to know is your story, so we're going to do a little full moon ritual. And if you want to oh follow us gosh. back to answer questions about your family, <laughs> feel free. This is not an invitation to stay at the Conjuring House. Just to follow us. Just to follow us, and we want to clear your family name. Actually, just to follow Josh. Just Josh. Why me? <laughs> Laura Sherman. Laura Sherman. Laura Sherman. Laura Sherman. What are y'all doing, man? Thank God. Thank God. Dead. <laughs> You're number one, two, three, four. Freaking homie tried to do the stanky leg and pulled the asbestos ankles. Five, Eight. five. We're on six. Seven. <laughs> oh! Hey! The pin drop. Oh! Hey, okay. Ten. Here's eleven. Well, all right. Oh. 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 all right, guys, one more. 13. <laughs> Boom. Boom. That was it. Wow. Our entire 13 times on a full moon. Laura Sherman, if you want to follow Josh home, you can. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Poor Josh. So stupid, but I swear to God, I thought a shadow. Dude, I did too. Wait, what? You did see the same shadow? Yeah. No, I we both saw did. A shadow. And the passenger seat of the car, like the front seat. The front no seat. shot, but I I see dude. It when we were dancing, but I don't know. But well, dude, weird. from the story, the girls didn't see Laura right away. They saw her in the car. Okay, oh. See, and I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Either. And y'all got to get in there without even like. Uh -huh. But it could be. I don't know. It's just weird. If uh, she's already in the car, then let's pop in and go back to the country house. No way, bro. The Crooked Neck Lady. The Crooked Neck Lady. This is a negative apparition that would haunt Carolyn Perrin in her sleep night after night. She would appear floating above Carolyn wearing a handmade green dress with no hands and no feet. Her face was a writing oh, mass of rotten no, flesh sir. with black looking at that nightmare fuel. Entity actually slammed her head into the bed frame. Paralyzed in fear, under her breast, she said, please God help me, and then everything stopped. It is a negative. Wow. Energy, for sure. When she presents sometimes, I don't know if you guys experienced last time, she can present very foul smelling. Have you experienced she, that smell? Yes, absolutely. All right, boys. Just wanted to film. Do you guys see any any old women in the back in the rear view? I don't see anything, but did they see it through a mirror or in person? Because maybe good you guys question. Saw it in the rear view mirror. And this is gonna be sitting a litter in the middle then. Years. That burp smells like <laughs> fucking ass crack. <laughs> Dude, it is foul. I'll pre I, had a I heard that. that. The crooked neck lady. Or maybe it's the crooked neck lady in here. <laughs> oh there she is! 
God damn! Really quick, what does wow. this like? neck lady smell like? Like Fucking rotten that. flesh. The new theory is that because Bathsheba Sherman was not a witch, mm -hmm. a lot of people think that the crooked neck lady, because she was the one that was haunting Carolyn Perrin is at the beginning, Bathsheba? was the thing that attacked her. Oh. Oh. Well, we caught the crooked neck lady. It was something crawling on all fours, and its neck was literally like yeah. Oh, fuck. So you smelled her, man, rotten flesh? I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah fuck that shit, man. <laughs> Right, Whoa, paranormal! <laughs> it's a lot darker and quiet now. Yeah, now it's gonna get real. Dude, oh, okay. Every time no. I come in here, I instantly think of the sounds that happened right there. This is it. You can picture it in your head because it's been documented so many times. It just happened. The seance of 1974. It literally as happened as like in, five feet away from him in that room. We moved into the Conjuring house January 1971. And when the previous owner gave them the keys, he told them, for the sake of your family, keep the lights on at night. Things started Say, off super positive. What? An older spirit named Manny appeared to them and the parent girls would play with child spirits. But that wouldn't last for long because everything would soon take a dark turn. For example, one morning, Carolyn was randomly attacked by a levitating wire hanger. The girls Whoa! would smell flesh and around 5.15 every morning, their beds would violently shake. There was also a swarm of flies which infested this house and nobody knew where they came from. But the worst thing that happened is one day, Carolyn was out in the barn and a scythe left Levitated, flew through the air and almost killed her. That's when Carolyn knew they needed you help. You gotta be joking me. That is Ed terrifying. Two most famous demonologists in the world who pioneered the combination of mediumship and technology. <coughs> Literally, they paved the way for the modern day ghost hunter. Okay. The Conjuring case was their most famous of all. They ended up coming to the Conjuring house five times, with each visit getting worse and worse. On October 30th, Wait, 1974, what did that say? five times, what did with that say? each visit getting worse. Boy's mouth was frozen open and a guttural voice came out and worse. On October 30th, 1974, the Warrens came here with a film and audio crew to hold an impromptu seance. This pissed off Mr. Perrin because he didn't want the Warrens investigating the house, but Lorraine said, if you love your wife, you'll let us do this. And the children, who were supposed to be upstairs, snuck down the stairwell just to watch. We were able to ask Andrea Perrin about her experience. Lorraine Warren right. told me she and Ed were in over their heads the moment they crossed the threshold to that house. No they just didn't way. Know. Ed, before his death, described the haunting as the most intense, most compelling, most disturbing, and most significant of any of the uh, investigations they ever conducted over the course of more than 40 years. 40 in the beginning, years. the Warrens had a medium speak Latin to invite other spirits into the home. Can you go into a little bit of detail about what you did see? I've never seen anything like it. What we watched was Ed and Lorraine Warren sitting at the table, my mother sitting in a very large captain's chair. The medium began conjuring the spirits, which is how the film got its name. The she conjuring. was speaking in probably Latin, and she had little pouches of stuff and candles on the table. And this all happened within, I would say, five to seven minutes. Wow. And what she did is she started conjuring the spirits for all intents and purposes, threw open wide the doors and invited everyone in to determine who the culprit was. Well, something came in that had never been in that house before, certainly not while we lived there. Oh, it picked man. up the table and then slammed it back down onto what? the floor. The table probably weighed two or three hundred pounds. Don't worry about that. That happens all the time when I'm talking. Your lights are going nuts, yeah. right? They're acknowledging me. The table wow. slammed back down. The priest jumped up away from the table and went and huddled in the corner. The medium passed out on the table. That's My mother crazy. started howling, screaming, writhing in pain. Her head dropped. Her body became contorted and twisted up into a ball in the middle of the chair. And then the chair lifted about probably 18 inches off the floor. And she was speaking in a language that does not exist on this planet. Oh Perhaps it was my ancient God. language, but not anything that exists today. As she was speaking in this deep guttural voice that was certainly not her own, the chair began to lift up off the floor. And then in a split second, my mother in the the chair was thrown into the middle of the parlor and we all heard her head strike the floor and every single person in that house thought they had just seen her die.
It oh. was horrific. Wow. Roger understandably stood up and tried to check on his wife and Ed grabbed him saying, don't go towards her, she could be possessed. So he turned around and punched him straight in the face. Yeah, I remember After you this said happened, that. the Warrens left and they never spoke to the parents for 40 years. And the scariest wow. part is during the seance, the tapes were destroyed and the audio files were corrupted. I remember my sister, Cindy, saying, mom, don't die, but if you do, come back. What? Come back and see us because we know you'll be able to. This was a little kid who had had seen enough to know that if mom died that she could come back to us in spirit i can't think of wow, anything more man. important to know that we can be in contact with our loved ones that it's not just ashes to ashes dust to dust and that they're lost and gone to us forever that's not the truth man i am I am holding in a lot of emotion right now, y'all. I'm so sorry that I'm so quiet. Oh man, like my heart's just is fluttering right now. Fear, emotion, seance ever. The Warrens' most famous case. Let's get to the bottom of what actually happened that night. Oh my gosh, dude! This has been riding on this rumor that Bathsheba Sherman was the cause of it all. Right. So what is the cause of it all? She wasn't. What spirit could have done that? Would you say that's the trickster or? My understanding was that could have been the energy of the broken neck lady. Oh. Perhaps. Well, this nope. is called a 360 REM pod. I keep so thinking the jump scare is going to happen. 360 degree motion sensor over here. We'll be able to capture anything that moves in the library. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's sick. That's great. So, that Dude, is so cool. I want those. Those are cool. That <laughs> is cool. <laughs> that's the good. Oh, wait. Oh, but that, that might be nice. Right here. Yeah, walk in front of that just to test it. Okay, well, so I'll we got to stand back. over here. That's you got to get way back. back. Yeah, so. That's not. Oh, so, there's no way. That's me. That's really far away. I don't know. Oh, that's weird. Bro, I'll go way back here. Yo, wait, yo. Okay, no, uh, that's, uh, that's not y'all. Can you walk in front of that REM pod? A little device that keeps making the noise. This is how close I'm getting. There. What? Okay. So we just can't the stand rest, over there. The rest ain't us, though. From here, it's wrong. I don't think that's us. That wasn't good because it went that way. It's facing the wall. So someone's in there right now. Oh. Somebody's in the corner. No. Yeah, dude. What? Were you over there in the that library? That fast. Who's here with us right Leave. now? Leave. Man's voice. No, I know you. you. Oh, again. Above. above. Leave. 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 Leave, Claire. Wait, above us right now? Isn't this Cindy Parent's room? Above us would be. And that's the most haunted room. The middle bedroom. Oh, the middle bedroom. Now. Are you in Cindy Parent's room? Yes. 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 Out. You wanted to get us out of this room? Enter. 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 Where do you want us to enter? Do you want us to go to Cindy Parent's room? Guys! Guys! Is Laura here? Is Bathsheba here? What the heck was that? You I see? can you see? see. Yeah. Maybe. 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 Oh shit, that thing got so crazy. Oh my god. That has gone insane now. We know that Bathsheba is not a witch like they depicted in the movies. We would love for you to come forward to clear your name. You, you don't? Know. You don't something? Laura, one more time, are you here with us? I don't know if Laura followed us back. I just heard a girl's voice said surrender. Do you want us surrender? to Surrender? Yes. Bedroom. Do you want us to go upstairs? Is that what you're trying to say? No way, bro. I, Do I don't know to what to, to believe. Bedroom above us? That just went off. Or the library. Bedroom or library? Dude, I thought it said it. It's Sam. Yeah, I like, thought it said Sam. Sam too. Like a little kid. It's Sam. It's Sam. Dude, wait, 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 wait. The only little kids would be upstairs. So if somebody recognized Sam, be like a little kid named Henry or something. It's Sam. Yeah. True. Uh, I think we should uh, really show. No, let's go Alright, that confirms. Let's leave this down here. So then who's right there? I don't know. Good yeah, yeah, question. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's leave a static camera and go upstairs. We're gonna leave this downstairs. Okay, that's obviously us. This goes off, dude. Goodbye. I just wanna see after you play the
No chance. All right, let's go upstairs. Earlier, we were warned about the- My name is Reed, I'm 22 years old, and I work here at The Conjuring House What's as up, a Reed? caretaker. My first night in this house kind of changed my perspective on the paranormal side. Having a door close in front of my face, seeing one person in the house that wasn't there. Wow. has been the most active area of the house, or would you say it's all pretty equal? See, I'm a favorite of the basement. I, I, I love investigating the basement. He loves investigating the tours, basement. As well as overnights, the middle bedroom upstairs. I've caught in some of my craziest stuff in that room. No, get that doll out of my face. experience things during tours. I think every room has its own energy and feel to it. I think it's more of the spirits kind of picking and choosing what room they like most or what they're used to. Upstairs in the middle bedroom, you know, Henry. I'm sure you guys probably heard of Henry. Yeah. It's a Henry's little kid. Wow. He's probably in the bedroom most of the time. Like that little kid we caught on the little thermal picture that one time? Oh, yeah. right. I think that might be right. Henry. That's a goddamn demon. What in the world? Well, wow, something immediately. Neighbors. Neighbors? The Shermans. Yeah. Can you see the Shermans? Everybody. Wait, what if we invited the entire gravesite back by accident? Whoa! Oh, that would be our luck. What are you trying to tell us? That would be your luck. Tired. 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 Henry, Rory, are you up here? Equal? Hey, Henry, you're, you're up here. Can you come and talk to us, please? We can play a game if you come talk to us. See this little green dot? Wait. Wait or wait? Wait. Realize? It's what? Wait and realize. She's, She's coming. coming! Yes! Oh! No! Uh. Who's coming? <laughs> times times three? three? Yeah, times three. Abigail, are you here with us? Good. Yes. Is it yes? yes? Yeah. Yeah, for Definitely. sure. Definitely. Okay, good. Oh. This thing for demons? Or for Dave? For, for, for Dave, yeah. For Dave? Or for Dave? Are there any children up here at all? Who was Dave again? I heard no. 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 You, come out, please. War time. War time? Down something. Down, yes. Are Downstairs? You yeah. yeah. Well, that's not good. No. Last night, they said literally attack and stock. War Realize time? Again. Realize. Realize that it's war time downstairs? I Maybe think not. not. Is that what's the evil thing? Oh, oh my god. I think not. I'm it's freaking out right now. As we're sitting here just talking about the woods. Yeah. Really like, cool. So what if they're from the woods? That's what I'm saying. Like the things that come from the woods create havoc here and then they dip back out. She like kept saying realize, and that was the only person that like got come through is Abigail, I think. Do we get any other name or child spirit? No children. They said something about a Dave, but Dude, we got Dave last night. Oh, we did. really? We yeah, did. who yeah, is Dave? Is that that, that is the name of the soldier? The too. And right. I think Abigail's saying, like, realize that, like, maybe you and I going out to the woods and doing those investigations was not a good idea. I don't know. Our night vision camera caught something in the library. They literally shut that door, bro. We need to realize. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, I just got the worst fear chill up my back. Something? You can't go back? Go back? You can't go back to the woods? I heard or something's there. Something yeah. there? This, this went to two. You can't go back to the woods because something is there. What's out there? You're not welcome. I heard run back and then it said you're not welcome. Oh my god. Somebody is messing. Run again. Run your something. Run There's you three? three? There's four of us. Yes, that's right. So. Sam? Seth or Sam? Did you guys hear that? Heard, Sam shouldn't which, run? Was, but I definitely heard that. Can you say that name again? It's Sam. It's Sam. What do you want with Sam? The one over there. Over there. So you think it's a bad thing that we're going to the woods? What will happen to us? Dead? Nope. At that point, that's when we pack up and leave. You know what? Three days is enough. Dead? No, I thought Dead. it said, I thought it said found you. Well, it kind of sounded like a kid's voice too. No, it was a kid's said, voice. I'm yeah. dead. Do you want us to go to the woods? Warning. 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 Also, woman's voice again, like, you can, but this is your warning. I think this is Abigail warning us one more time. Do not go to the woods. What do you so think about the don't basement do it. In here? Intense. The basement is intense. Problem? And What's the problem, problem with the basement? Dark. 
Darkness. Darkness. Is something down in the basement that we should be afraid of? Bad. Are you afraid of someone? Next neck year? lady? Oh, neck. oh broken next. neck. Are you scared of a lady with a broken neck? Yeah, I went there. Should we be afraid of the broken neck lady? She used to scare Carolyn Perrin in her dreams. Oh my gosh. Is the broken neck lady here right now? Three. Almost, almost killed. killed is what I heard. She almost killed the Carolyn Perrin one night. Killed. 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 Did you hurt the Perrin family? Oh. Only one. One. Can you say the name of the person you hurt? I won't, I won't say, say it. it. I won't say it. That's it. I won't say it. There's a woman's voice. Can you say how many people are in this room with us? The number? Sam. 53? There's four of us that we can see. How many are you? How many spirits? Downstairs? Down. Uh, in the woods. In the woods. In the woods. You're buried the out there. Was a crooked neck lady a teacher? Was she teaching you guys? That went off. Whoa. Here? Does the crooked neck lady only stay in the basement? Please. Where do you want us to go if you want us to leave? Look. Look, Look where? Look twice. Look twice? Look, Look out. out. Third time. Right Break. in front of you? Yeah. That door is open. Move. Move. So what if I go to the door? Is that bad? Bro, I couldn't. Get out of here! As soon as you touch that, dude. Bro, I have never seen something like that before. It said, get out of here. Behind you, the door. I go closer to the door. Get out of here. It's literally telling you to leave the room. And it was like a get out of here. It's literally t- Wow, dude. Did someone come in here already? This door is open. No, it's fucking not. No, it's fucking not. This door is completely open. No, it's fucking not. They probably caught it on the What? There is no way. This is recorded. Nah, I don't believe it. We gotta see the video. Nah, it's real, bro. There's no fucking way. Let's go watch this I closed it for sure. What the fuck? Oh! What the fuck? And just Dude, walked in, in. probably camera, looked right? at the camera and everything, left man. To follow us upstairs. Oh, that means someone was in the corner then. We need to find out who this person is. Unless yeah. that's the person that follows upstairs, though. They could have been. Wow, wow bro. There's something in the woods last night that said Stock has been following us this entire time. Uh-oh, yeah. bro. Why I feel like I'm gonna get followed just moving? by watching wait, 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 wait. this. The camera's moving. It like it moved. Wait, throughout the time, the entire time we were there, it was. Dude, like, you said the thing on top moved. was loose. Oh, like something was trying to press the thing. Was with our camera. It does Yo, move. what? It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. Look at this. <laughs> this is like this is a whole a big Ain't move no of, like, way, minutes. bro. And what causes that? Pressure. Someone's Pressure. touching it. You would never be able to catch that just watching it at normal speed. To make sure no one was messing with us, we checked the security cams. Oh, oh my god. god! Just full Dude. freaking view, what the bro. Fuck? Oh, oh my god! god. Full view of that camera. The rock on the floor. That is a good point. It did move that thing down there. That's crazy. Somebody just opened it and just. Strolled on in there. Any specific way that you're able to communicate with the spirits? No more often way. Than not. Isolation. Isolation, I'd say, is key. Kind of just sit and talk. Say why you're here. Nice to meet you. Can you show yourself, or can you maybe make something happen? I couldn't do it. Man. That kind of stuff tends to work the best. I couldn't do it. We decided to investigate the house in separate groups. Before we began, we placed equipment in each room. But as soon as we walked away from the Wait, basement the door, bot, dude. It's doing the same thing as it did before. So it's think, showing all that activity, I, I guess. Somebody's like broke our rim because it's been doing this for the past 24 hours. When we were out in the woods, it went from green to all the way around. What's, oh, like, what's that? Can you walk around it like you just did? Because it did go there. Boom. Thank you. Dude, it's doing exactly what you said. It's literally... It's literally going from green to yellow to blue. It's like trying to say, hey, come this way. And he's walking towards the basement. That is... You've got to stop with this, dude. You've got to stop with that. I'm 
scared. Right, well, Good here boy. we go. We're going right, through. Guys. We'll be right uh, here. I, I hope swear, so. we'll be right here. I really hope you guys will be here. The bright here. side, if something does happen to us, at least nothing will happen to you guys because you'll know. Yeah, true. we can like, get the fuck out of here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can just, we can just dip. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to matrix so that Colby could still film that. You guys are just going to wait outside? <laughs> yeah, we'll just be right here. Okay. Nope. Run. Should we run? <laughs> run. Run. <laughs> oh, this is like... They're running. 2000. They're running away. <laughs> They're running away. <laughs> do you remember us? If you do, can you give us a sign? A knock, maybe? Is there anyone in the library? Can you open up the door again? Thought I heard something move on there. The perfect full moon. Wow. Well, that we are at the conjuring house on a full moon. Full moons are just in general supposed to elevate the energy of spirits. I'm using the camera so I can see the stairs, bro. I feel like the only way to get through this shit is to like make jokes and laugh. Well, I'm getting dizzy. Good luck. Because the stairs and stuff here. Yeah, in the darkness. I almost just fell over. See? Through. That was crazy. Yeah, you get dizzy. You can't see in here. Whoa! Fuck. Somebody's oh, fuck. following you. Oh, Yo, I just heard somebody. I know, I know, behind you. I don't know if you were getting these vibes too, but something upstairs. I'm not sure how many people we were talking to. No but there was something joke. Telling us, like, get out, leave. It was warning us. Fuck, somebody's There's somebody here. Someone's here. There's somebody. Let's go. What guys, the hell? That? That's the alarm. Somebody just pulled up right there. Did you see him? Trespassers. How do you guys feel about Sam and Colby being back here? Where's the crooked neck lady? Yeah, she's here. Can you give us a sign, please? <gasps> Y'all are in the oh, abyss next right episode, now. We're gonna finally face the basement. Yes. We've kind of been delaying it because we have a full week, so we didn't want to do it until day four. Gain some confidence, and then we'll go down. It's dark now. I think me and you should go to the door. What? No, no. <laughs> Which <laughs> door? Bro, I can't even walk in there. <laughs> Yeah, it was oh, your idea. I can't see shit. No, it's fucking scary. <laughs> Dude, this is nuts. This is actually I haven't been scared of the conjuring in a while like oh, this. Oh my god. Dude, I'm only going nah, I'm thinking it's going to be a jump I scare. Being here by myself. Do you guys see how I just missed that door handle? If you don't want me to touch that door, make those devices on the bed Cat goes off. All you gotta do Cat is touch them and they'll flicker. Have been touched or moved. Bro, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I just caught an orb on camera right over the bed. I Unless did see that, that too. I'm gonna open it. Fuck, dude. I can't even do this. You got it, dog. Oh my god. You got oh it. my god. <laughs> I'm scared oh, for him. Might have been in the basement. I heard it from like right next to me, so it could have been into the basement. You know that deep hum of furniture being moved across wood? Yeah. So that's what just happened in there. Josh and Seth are nowhere near the first floor. <laughs> What's in here? I don't know. Pillows so there's couch, and stuff. There's uh, pillows. There's Yo, a I think I feel like H H Holmes hat. Now that we open the door, is there someone in the closet right now? What if we take one of these devices and put it in the closet? All right. Can you make it turn on just by touching it? <gasps> Say, Yo, bro. Yo, what? I did not expect that to go off. I'm too scared to do it. <laughs> bro, and I'm it's and it. it's dark. So imagine just darkness and then light. Nope, I'm out. I'm That's running scary. into the darkness, <laughs> away from that light. I think it's because of the, the person that said, don't go near it. Yeah. We just made that happen. <gasps> no. He's like, no, That's I the, made it happen. Yeah, we have to now. It's time to go inside. In the kitchen. That's like the only place I feel safe in, honestly. Yeah, they do say that that is like the place that's most safe because of all the like incense and everything. Are you the same spirit oh, that no, told sir. Josh to get away from the door earlier? Can you tell us your name? Can you tell us your name? What the hell? Whoa, what was that? Someone just touched my arm. No fucking- Yeah. Bro, what? I literally just heard a tap right here. That's why I- Someone I'm... just touched my whole arm. Are you serious? It's like, can you tell moved. us your name? Right here. That's my name. Whoa. It's right here. It's gonna be on camera. It's like, they, I think they moved my whole sleeve, my whole shirt. That's insane. I mean, it made me jump. I was like, what yeah. is freaking out? Dude, there's gotta be someone fucking here. I'm not a medium or anything, but it just feels like it now. Go. Leave I now. I just heard him Looking into the kitchen. Yeah, footsteps. Oh, here they go. Where are they? 
You just heard those footsteps, right? Right in front of us. So we have a device But they're in the not so coming though. Is still following us. Can you touch this one in front of us? They literally hear we just, just the spirits walking around. Still here. Please let us know. What was that? What was that? What was that? It was like a floorboard. Yeah, break. it felt like it was right in the middle of us. This is intense. Why do they always make us do this stuff? Hey, no. you Why volunteered. Why is this tonight? I'm so freaked out right now, bro. Maybe we should just get that out of here now and give it to them. It's been at least 15 minutes. No, oh, man. Oh, oh my yeah. God. The touch. Yep. It, it's, it, it'll spook you. You can see it. So Wait, you actually again, see his that. sleeve move? Oh Yo, that is terrifying. Yeah, bro. That is terrifying. It was real. It, it, it was weird. It moved. It was yeah. like this. Yeah. Whoa. So their name really was see right you. here. See you guys on the other side. I'll see you, man. <laughs> on the other side, like the other side. Oh, not death. Hopefully not. Uh, yeah, hopefully like not. <laughs> Damn, that's my karma. <laughs> wow. You know what we should do? We should go to like the soldier's grave. This is like the creepiest thing ever. Oh, absolutely. Look at its face. Absolutely Can you turn it off not. Really quick and just show what it looks like. Okay, so this is night vision. This is not night vision. You can't, you can't, see you can't even see outside. Wow, dude. man. That's Guys, we're doing this for you. The conjuring completely at night. You ready? No. Let's do it. But oh. I have. Ooh, oh, boy. Dude, this is fucked. <laughs> oh my god, I can't see anything. I actually can't see shit. Well, don't die. I'm surprised y'all don't just have lights here. on the Our way up there. Up here. We think you might have communicated with them. We mean no disrespect. We're just here to communicate. This is the good old Andrea Perrin room. One of these little toys here on the nightstand. If you want to move one of them, we'll know you're here. Bro. I was oh waiting God, for that it. That was one of those things. The shirt that uh -huh. we just like cannot explain. Exactly. And we capture the evidence. You can't yeah, unsee really it either. <laughs> Dang. <Punched a> mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> explains why we do this in the first place. Exactly though. No, for real. Oh, oh that's a twig too right there. Did you also think that was a person? Yeah. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> My twin right here, dog. <laughs> each other abigail shows up in <gasps> this fucking rip on oh my god guys is that okay, wait. down okay, by the basement cody and satori Boom. that means something was in the basement oh my god it was off for 30 minutes thank you we hear you loud and clear you want us to come into the basement oh, oh, no, whoa no, they really want you to come what down the fuck there is happening that, like it's it just like exploded with color. I've n I don't think I've ever seen the REM pod do that. Dude, we've seen like the REM pod do everything, but I don't think I have either. I can't picture somebody's just standing there. No. It's like something's trying to fuck with the equipment. Should we reset it? Like, what should we do? I think I think we have to. Something about the basement. Yeah. Is following us. It is so and the, and y'all are just can't see shit. Wait, is that galumping Wait, into the freaking woods. It's like going in someone's crib. Oh, is it locked? Oh yeah, it is locked. You can lock a tent. I didn't yeah. know. Yeah, but I didn't realize you could lock a tent and to, not be in it. Around and she said that she would be following us and protecting us the entire time we were here, and that she was happy that we were here, like a protector. But then when we ask her, nothing. Why? Maybe she is protecting us, but she just isn't strong enough to communicate. Not again! Can you again! Turn off? Can you come upstairs with us? Uh-oh. 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 You done did it now! We just brought it to us. You done did it now! Can you come over here to this red light? You done did it now! It stopped, and it's been going off this entire time. Let me check. It's, it's with us right now. Definitely. Okay, if you're up here... Oh my god! Oh. No, no! Whoa! Holy fuck. Absolutely oh are in you, here. You fucking called it up here. Okay, okay, but isn't that the goal? Dude, you literally said, what the fuck? Abigail, when we ask her to do things, she can't do anything. We literally asked, whatever, oh my it's god. Back. It went back downstairs. If these were actually humans, and the, like, we probably just scared it away. 
We mean you no harm. Oh. Apparently, the story goes that there's five or seven soldiers here, and this is where one of them is, if you guys don't know. I wonder what his name is. Dave? You're downstairs. Yes, they are downstairs. Sure, that is this downstairs. Will you come right back upstairs one last time with us? Oh, fuck. You're joking okay. me. Well, we can't freak out. Wait, do you want to try something? What? You want to, like, grab my wrist and ask the same thing? Ooh, see if, see if it works? Gives us a low energy. I mean, we've never tried that. I'm not saying that we have the same power as a door and Cody, but, like, do you want to seriously try and see? Oh. We have to take it seriously. For real. Or no, it's not even up here. No, they're literally. It's like, come here! There's a fair fuss. Wait, it stopped. It's wanting you to go down there. I can hear them yelling inside the house. Yeah, bro. Something bad's going on. We're just out here by the car, it's chilling. If there's any spirits here who would like to talk to us, feel free to come forth. We mean the most respect. We truly just want to communicate. It's not up here. Okay, so you guys can't really see, but right over there, there's a big ass tree. Right. Somewhere in there, Josh just said he saw like a blue light. Yeah, but then we can hear the noise together. It's weird because I'm hearing. St well, well, we can hear something. And I don't see nothing. Is that the tree where the crooked neck? Yo, Sam. Crooked neck? Can you just imagine real quick. You're an Andrea Parent. <sighs> October 30th, 1974. Peeking around these corners. On the staircase. Door is slightly open. Is your mother writhing in pain right where the sofa is? She levitates and then flung sent 20 feet fly. into the other room. What was that? Did you I saw me? that. Yeah. Some sort of orbit dust. I'm gonna turn off that fire. All right, last chance. We're about to leave for the night. Something's here. Please make yourself known. If you're in the library. <laughs> Again, the basement. Just it off and on. It's just like everything is pointing to the basement. Everything. You're like that's like pretty much the only thing we've got. Dude, right when I could get the REM pod in my field of vision, it stopped. It stopped. It ran away. Everything at the beginning pointed to the woods. Now everything's pointing to the basement. But it's almost like they're preying on our fear because those are the two places that we don't want to go. I think this is over. Lots of Josh and Seth. Okay. And literally as soon as I Whoa! the front door. It's like doing an alarm like a police siren. Fuck, literally, dude. It's last little like huzzah. Like, no, 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 don't leave, don't leave. Don't end. People aren't going to believe that because I just, I, it was right. That is crazy. The they really want y'all right down right there. there. Guys. Oh, I heard it. The REM pod? Yes. Oh, yes. They yes. really oh, want y'all down, down the there. The entire time it was going on. The entire time we were talking back and forth. We asked it to stop. It stopped and to come upstairs. Boom. The static sensor turned on. And oh, I never no way, yeah, dude. And it's weird because it's we're mind here without blowing. you guys didn't go off at all. Whatever it is, it's over and over pointing to the basement. 2 a.m. We're in oh, witching God. hour. Who's got floor? So, I decided that I'm not staying the night. You're not going to stay the night? No, nope. sorry. I know you're that's gonna, right. You're gonna do it to us three? Get out yeah, while you I can. Can't do it. Oh my god. <laughs> Seth, what are you thinking? You know, I would, but. <laughs> oh, the, butt? the next what? episode is, is the basement. Why? Are you gonna butt us right now? <laughs> it would be really funny to watch y'all suffer. Yeah! Wow. Well, I'm glad I blew up two mattresses for the floor. Oh, dude, I'm doing that oh, for sure, man. Yo, wow. Yeah, I'm doing this for sure. I just feel so safe. Uh, I don't feel oh. safe at all in this house. I'm sorry. Well, half of me feels kind of bad. It's okay. Yeah, hey, remember are. the bell witch thing? I was just going to say, the other half yeah. of me is like... The demon of bell witch. Right <laughs> <now. Okay. laughs> Goodbye, oh, boys. Hey, it was fun. Guys. It was fun. First night alone, guys. I can't believe we're actually doing this. That <laughs> fart noise. A little later that night. 2.49. It's a different vibe. The basement is a trickster energy. 
Boy, I was about to say, I thought a spirit was taking the blanket off. When you ask who they are, they're going to say, Beasley Bob, or they're going to say, If you really want to experience... Where are you going? You just need to make that trek downstairs. I'm sorry, you can't cliffhang me like that. All of our batteries. Oh my god, god dude! Ah! Shutting off the camera 20 times? What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is getting heavy. This crap right here is scaring me for real. I fear that I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. Oh man, but for the sake of the experience, like I said the first time. I would love to go there. I would love to have one of them sessions, but that's as far as I'm going. No, I'm not leaving them four walls. Hell, because the kitchen is a safe place, that's where I'm staying. I'm big too, so I'm gonna be fed and safe. But I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you did, why not leave the video a like? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, why not consider subscribing? Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of this mayhem. Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.